Alexa, play ZZ Top. Shuffling songs by ZZ Top. Very, very cool. So, it's been hot as hell here in Oklahoma, but the system is running really, really well. Averaging about 20, 21 kilowatt hours harvest out of these guys. Batteries are running good. Uh, monthly inspection, all that good stuff. But one thing I did want to show you really quick here is this is an off-grid system and I just transfer power, solar, battery over to here. And here are some of the circuits that I run on solar. Refrigerator dishwasher are on A right here. And this is an either or transfer switch. Up here position is in solar. Down here is is off the uh, mains. So that's what's really cool about these transfer generator switches is that you can, it's an either or, and you can select which one or which circuits you want to heat up. Living room has, I don't know how many outlets, probably four outlets in the living room. On here, uh, South Kitchen GFI has the, um, the TV, a couple of outlets are on, a, on that GFI circuit. This is the one I added, the D, which is a North Kitchen GFI, which has the outlet for the one ton window air conditioner, toaster, toaster oven, all that stuff. I took the microwave off the circuit. And these are 20 amp circuits here, so they're a little bit stronger. This is, this is all work the, the electrician did. Uh, e is, has a lot of stuff on it. Entry, study, West Garage, outlet. A lot of outlets on this. Entry is the uh, outside lights, garage door lights. Um, study, of course, is the study in my little office with the computer in it. Uh, West Garage outlet has all my DeWalt battery chargers on there and a um, whole bunch of other stuff. So this has a lot of stuff on it. Finally, the kitchen lighting, master bedroom. The master bedroom has all the outlets, and I'm also running that 8,000 cooling BTU window air conditioner on that. So, yes, it's a six-circuit transfer panel, but there's a lot of stuff that this thing will heat up. Granted, I would have liked to have a the 10 one, but uh, for my system, the way it is right now, uh, especially in the summertime, is uh, doing well. Oh, one thing to note on the master bedroom... I'm running a smaller system, that portable solar generator, that 24 volt one, looks like a army surplus box. It's not actually on this circuit right now. I use that 600 watts in uh, solar panels on the pergola in that solar generator to run that air conditioner during the day. And then at night, I unplug it and put it, put it on the outlet and then it goes back on here. But by about that time, um, I'm already transferred back onto grid power and they're lower uh, charges for electricity. Now let's take a look at uh, a typical day and how many kilowatt hours this house uses and how much I have offset. All right guys, sorry about the audio quality on this microphone, I'll do my best. This is from my Outback Power Inverter. Uh, for 24-7 it monitors what's going on with my system and as you can see at about seven o'clock is when I turn off the grid and start making solar power storing and using and as you can see it starts about 7 o'clock and then about 7 p.m. is when it shuts down and it automatically switches back to the grid and if you look up there right under the consuming thing there I'm running about 50 percent off grid uh, in the summertime now during the spring and winter <laughs> you know I'm doing pretty close to 80 90 percent uh, totally off-grid. So this is a partial off-grid system during the summer just helping lower the electric bill and definitely during those peak hours when the electric companies charge you a crap load for use. Alright guys, I hope I explain that coherently but essentially what's going on, I'll make this real simple, Outback Power Inverter here connected to the Mate 3 communications control panel uh, and that uses Optics RE software, which is tied into my local area network and the internet. 
and it pumps out all the data, what's going on with the inverter, 24 hours a day, 365 days a year, yakety schmackety. And what that does is allows me to, you know, see what's going on real time, uh, how this system's working. Now, what I originally did years ago, and this has taken me years to build this system, uh, is build this for an emergency backup, you know, to run a fridge, light, TV, whatever, uh, in case of an emergency, I eat tornado, you lose power. But what this thing has morphed into is a no kidding 24 <laughs> 7 system, uh, partial off grid. And what I've been doing is, especially during the summertime, and take note, electric companies have their peak hour rating system. And don't get me wrong, we need the grid. The grid for strategic, you know, everything, run our economy, way of life, all that stuff. I'm not anti grid. Uh, but during the peak hours in the summertime from Monday through Friday and then this area it's uh, 2 to 7 is when they basically rape you over the coals for kilowatt hours use you know during non-peak hours it may be like you know 6, 8, 12 cents a kilowatt hour that you're paying for uh, but during those peak hours it could be as high as 40, 50 cents a kilowatt hour so that's what I want to to do with the system is is make sure I'm on solar or battery during that period of two to seven and not be buying you know crazy amounts of power you know from what they're charging that's, that's, it's just insane how much they charge in that time so that's one of the great things I like about this system and of course during the you know non-peak summer hours essentially the system is autonomous and it just runs 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 so I'm a little under batteried for how many solar panels I have, but in the summertime, I find that I'm using every drop of kilowatt hours I can get out of these things. I'm, getting, I'm running about, I don't know, probably about 14, 15 kilowatt hours out of this battery bank. So it's running really, really well. Uh, definitely offsetting high cost electricity during the summer hours. So I, hopefully, this explains what is going on with this system. 